Ladies and gentlemen, want to use icons like me? Well, check out U7 Buy. Select the coins you need, type in JD for a cheeky 5% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we look at Jezinio. High medium worker rates. Five star skills with a four star weak fit. This card looks sensational. Now, I love the new icons in FIFA 23. I'm a huge fan of Jared Muller's base and mid, especially his mid. And I also love Jezinio. This guy for me is one of the best cards in the game. And the fact that he's new and I've never used this card before just makes FIFA 23 shine out even more. I love using new icons. He scored me some ridiculous goals. I love the ball roll scoop on this man. And of course his long shots. Travellers in this game and even finesse shots with certain players are so overpowered. You've got to do it when you're outside of the box. This is when this sort of card shines out. His dribbling is sensational. He's relatively quite diminutive at five, five foot eight. The only negatives about this card, there's only a few because there's so many positives. He's not the best at winning headers or scoring headers. He's quite weak compared to these overpowered center backs. But besides that, he's, that's the only negatives because he scores some incredible goals. And I love him. I love him. Mostly love him outside of the box. You can use him in strike, lamb, ram and cam. I used him all over the show. Generally used him all over the pitch to make this review as best as possible. He's so versatile because he's so good in the game. When he's on the ball, he's so hard to dispossess. I know that FIFA 23 players can't dribble, but some players can. And look at this goal from here. Oh my days, that was a Rabona finish. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when I scored that, literally running all over the room, I was like, no way. I mean, look at this. From there, that is just incredible. It really is. I mean, wow. And that, I was honestly, when I scored that goal, the first thing I thought of was DCPHD. That guy scored some ridiculous goals and I was like, even he would have liked that goal. Even that goal would have put a smile on his face. But yeah. Sensational player. Like I said, there are weaknesses. Number one, he is expensive, but his price has plummeted. He used to be over 2 million coins. He used to be like 2.2 million. I bought him for 1750. I think he's like 1810 right now or something along them lines. So yeah, I mean, he has depreciated quite a lot. But this card is so good and I've never used him before. So I love using new icons and he's definitely something different. And that's one thing I love about him. I love his presence. I love his hair. I love his five star skills, I love his dribbling, I love his shot, I love his pace. I love I love so much about this card. He's got good passing. Okay, like I said before, he's not that strong. He is quite strong, but obviously compared to Rudiger Van Dijk and these guys, he's gonna get bullied off the ball. And he's not the best at winning headers. Bar that though, he literally brings everything else to the pitch. He scores some beautiful goals, he can score some tap-ins, he can bamboozle the goalkeeper. Literally. I have to say, this guy reminds me of a little bit of a very overpowered version of Garincha. Like, I know Garincha's 5-star, 4-star combination. And Garincha's one of the best dribblers in the game. But this guy's got the finishing that Garincha doesn't have. Do you get what I mean? That is the important point I want to say. I think he's a better version of Garincha. My nephew described him as Eusebio and Garincha combined. That is high praise, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Eusebio de Silva Ferreira is a little bit better than this guy, in my opinion. So I'm going to give him a 9.6 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.